What's up YouTube? It's Coach Corey and the Brawl Stars dev team has already said that they are working on a nerf for auto aim. So today we're going to talk about what we think the auto aim nerf could be, what would good potential nerfs to auto aim be, or really what do we want for an auto aim nerf. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, alright, so let's start it out. I hope everyone is doing well. Today we're going to talk about some potential auto aim nerfs, as I said. So I'm going to go through the best ones that I think, and I'm going to start out with what I think would be the best potential auto aim nerf, or nerf to auto aim. There's definitely a couple different ways you could go with nerfing auto aim. We all think, I, most of us think that auto aim is the biggest problem in the game right now, it takes a lot of depth out of the game, so it definitely needs some sort of nerf in my opinion. So, I think the best nerf to auto aim would be just straight up nerfing how much damage the brawler does when it uses auto aim. So for instance, if you use auto aim, it's just as accurate. You're just as likely to hit shots, you can use just as often, but for instance, in this example, maybe it does like 20% less damage. Anything like that, 20% less damage, 10% less damage might not be strong enough, I think, but it would be better than nothing for sure. You could probably even go up to like 25% less or 33% less, make it a third less. That way, new players, they're still able to hit a lot of their early shots, but it's for the later game players. I mean, essentially with an auto aim nerf, what you're trying to accomplish is make it better to use manual controls the, than auto aim. That's the main goal. As long as you can make it better to use manual controls than auto aim, at the least the game is going to feel a lot more rewarding. Now, if you want a really strong esports scene, you're going to need an even larger gap. You need it to be harder for mediocre players to be just as good or be close enough to being able to beat really top players just because of using auto aim. You need to make that gap large enough to happen. I think nerfing the damage could be a good way to do it. It makes it so the new players can still be just as accurate and be hitting their shots just as often. They're feeling good about hitting their shots. They may not even notice, frankly, that they're dealing substantially less damage. To them, it still might feel really good. It's going to still feel rewarding because you're hitting your shots and you're dealing damage to enemies. But for all the players who really want to grind at the game and want to really be good at the game, want to have a really strong depth, and want to play it a ton, really love the strategy, they're going to have to aim manually, and I think that's exactly what we want. Okay, so another way you can nerf auto-aim is by nerfing the reload of it. So for instance, it could either be something like where you can only use auto-aim every so often, like say every three or four or five seconds, that way if you really need to use it in a pinch, you can use it, and then you just can't use it all the time. You can't just spam auto aim of shots, but you can still potentially use it. I think that's maybe not bad. It's not my favorite, but I could definitely see it working. I think it would be a little bit annoying though, because you wouldn't know when you're able to use auto aim exactly. Like you're not going to probably memorize exactly when four or five seconds is. Maybe there's a countdown, but that's definitely pretty annoying. You wouldn't want a countdown for how often you can use auto aim. I do think that's a potential nerf, but it's probably not the one I would do. Another really good potential nerf is and this is one that a lot of people have talked about. I don't think it's one Supercell likes, but a lot of this is probably one of the most suggested nerfs. And that's only make auto-aim available for so long, as in only have it available until you reach a certain trophy level. Now that can either be for total trophies or it can be trophies for each brawler. I think either argument makes sense. You can have it be total trophies because then it's just for brand new players. It's for players who maybe they're... Until they reach 500 trophies or until they reach 1,000 trophies, they can use auto aim as they're learning the game. They can use that crutch to help them figure out and learn the game. And if they really want to get into it, they'll get past that trophy level and then they'll start having to use manual controls. Another way you could do it is have it for each brawler up to a certain trophy level, say like 100 trophies or 200 trophies. That way, if it's a brand new brawler, they have no idea how to use it, they're not very good at aiming with it yet, then they can use auto aim as they figure it out. Now, I don't like this solution for a couple reasons. One, Supercell likes things to be even for all players across all states of the game. So, for instance, if you're a player at, let's say, just below the threshold and you're facing someone who's just above the threshold, it's going to be totally different. One of them's going to have auto aim, one of them's not. And they're going to be probably basically almost at the exact same skill level or exact same trophy level. But it's just going to be a really big difference 
big difference in performance with one of them having an unnerfed auto aim and one of them not having auto aim at all. So I think in that scenario, that would be pretty bad and that would definitely be not great for the state of the game. Right now, there's a lot of matchmaking posts about, well, maybe not right now, but there used to be before where on Reddit people would say, look at this trophy disparity between us. Matchmaking sucks. Well, if they had this feature, it would be, oh, matchmaking sucks. This person had auto aim and I don't. And I don't really think that would be a great thing for the game. I do understand that some people would think it would be good because you have a crutch for players. And then as they get play the game more, they get off the crutch. But I don't think, I think that's sort of a startling way to make them get off the crutch. It's sort of like they have a crutch and then you kick it out from under them. And I don't know if it's the best way to have players learn the game. I think it would be some sort of nerf that's even across the board would be the best way to go for nerfing auto aim. Okay, and then there's two other, I think these two other nerfs I have are both actually pretty good possibilities and pretty good ways you could nerf auto aim. One of them is decreasing the accuracy of auto aim. So just, I don't know, this would have to be somewhere in the coding of auto aim and just making it so it hits shots slightly less often. Like maybe it's slightly off kilter a little bit more, it's slightly more left, slightly more right than it should be. So that way it's maybe still hitting your target, but not quite as often. So it's, in essence, this is a bit of a damage nerf long-term, right? But in Rowdy, you're still able to use auto aim just as often. And when you do hit, you do are hitting for full damage. So I think this could be a not bad way to do it because you still have auto aim in the game. And as long as you're making it more rewarding for people who are aiming manually, as long as you're hitting more, you're able to hit more shots manually than with auto aim, then that's the scenario you want. So I don't know how much you'd have to decrease the accuracy of auto aim to make that possible. It would definitely be pretty hard to balance because the auto aim accuracy for long range guys and for shotgun brawlers would definitely be two really different variables. Maybe you could change it for each specific brawler. I don't know. That might not be the best fix, but that is a possible way to nerf auto aim. All right, this last nerfed auto aim, I think it's pretty good. It would be adding a res increased response time to whenever you use auto aim. So basically you're adding a delay after every single time you use auto aim. So for instance, maybe it's just a 10th of a second, or maybe it's a 20th of a second, or two tenths of a second, anything like that, where you're delaying how fast auto aim fires. So it takes, it's not quite an instant thing. That way it's still just as accurate, but it takes the data from when you clicked it and then it waits either a 10th of a second, a fifth of a second, something like that, and then it fires. So that way you're still able to do full damage. You're still able to potentially be accurate, but there's just a bit of a delay. And in Rowdy, this is honestly another way to just decrease accuracy. Maybe it's a little bit easier to do it this way. Okay guys, so those are my suggestions for potential ways to nerf auto aim. I think the best one is nerfing the damage that brawlers do when they use auto aim. I think that's the most rewarding and the easiest way to let players know, hey, aim manually and you will be better at this game. If you really like the game, start aiming manually. I think that's the best way to do it. But let me know, what do you guys think? What would be the best way to nerf auto aim? All right, guys, if you didn't hear, I'm going to start doing one less video a week just for the next few weeks. I just started a brand new job, so I want to make sure I'm adjusting to the job well, and then I'll get right back into Brawl Stars strong just as I was before. And also, I'm really excited. I really hope the auto-aim nerf is coming soon. I hope we don't have to wait for a full update. Who knows? I don't know what they're planning. I know they talked about it. They teased it to us, so my hope is that means they're not too far away. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what nerf you would prefer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you later.